Thank you, Nick. It's no laughing matter. It's coming up to 10 o'clock. You're listening to James O'Brien, where for two shows in a row, much to my own surprise, I find myself drawn to discussing that despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh, your friend and mine, Nigel Farage. But we begin, because I think we must, with uh, Mr Farage, the despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh. Nigel, that was very kind of you. We, we, we shall miss having you around these, uh, these buildings for the coming weeks. Although the fumigators have done a magnificent job. So you could move, perhaps, from creepy under Uncle Nigel to, to, to the mewling pencil Jacob. And you've got mewling pencils like Jacob Rees Mogg touring studios, pretending to somehow represent probity. And if you are still in thrall, perhaps, to the despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh. If it kept his own grubby little features on the telly. If, if an adulterous, cheating liar is actually Prime Minister. Whereas Johnson, of course, colluded with, a, with an old school friend to get a journalist beaten up. He, he, he suggests he's rather better at this business than the despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh. 26 minutes after 10 is the time. Leading Britain's conversation. LBC with James O'Brien. It's uh, 10.51, you're listening to James O'Brien on LBC. Uh, the question is, what do, you think, what do you think he's up to? The old chancer, the despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh. And if he is a massive coward, if he is a, 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 a dissembling charlatan, if he is a snake oil salesman, if it turns out I was right all along and you were misled by him... <laughs> so watch this space. We shall have to wait yeah. and see. I still, I mean, he's such a, he's such a snake that you just don't know where he's going to slither next. <laughs> All right, we'll get on to that story a little later in the programme. But I want a couple more theories first on what um, creepy Uncle Nigel is actually up to with this latest decision. Whereas Farage has always, always lived his life with his little grubby face pressed up against the sweet shop window, pretending to hate the sweet shop while desperately begging for them to let him in. So, working on the principle that with Nigel Farage, generally, the, 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 the least honourable thing is the path he will take. You just imagine the most dishonourable way in which he could behave, and that's how he will behave. But as, as things stand, we're unaware of any way in which the champion of accountability, democracy and transparency, Nigel, despicable belch of beery flatulence made flesh Farage, 